Hello, welcome to the show. I'm about to show you how to take down an on the hunt mission objective in one hit. Furthermore, it's not even going to cost you any ammo. You're going to walk out of this with everything you came into it with. No more explosive ammo cost for me. I'm loving that. I used to shoot these with an explosive round just to make it quick and get it done. But now I am not even spending that. I'm going to examine this third clue here. And I'm going to switch my dead eye card over to paint it black. And I'm going to pull my bow out. Now, I've purchased the pamphlet for all of the different arrow types. And I'm going to go with the poison arrow here. And I want to go for a headshot. If you body it, you may have to put two arrows in. That's okay too, because you're still going to get both arrows back when you go up to the targets. So you can see I gave it a headshot there, and that dropped it. It's just going to lay there and die. I'm going to go up to it. I'm going to get my arrow back from the carcass. If you shot it twice, you'll get both arrows. But one thing to keep in mind, when you're using arrows and you want to retrieve them, don't shoot the animal until it's actually within range of your radar. If you shoot the animal and it is beyond the range of your radar, the chances are when you go up to that carcass, your arrows will be nowhere to be found. They're kind of like a uh, carcass that disappears when it's off the edge of the radar, but your arrows will disappear too if they're off the edge of the radar. So keep that in mind. Wait for it to get within radar's range before you tag it with an arrow, and you should have no problem getting your arrow back. If you don't already have this pamphlet, you're going to need to be level 57 in order to acquire it from the fence. It's going to cost you $435, you're going to need a flight feather, an oleander sage, and a regular arrow in order to craft a poison arrow. You do not need to be by a fire if you have a pestle and mortar. You can just do it anywhere on the fly, including on your horse. If you need oleander, you can find it in this area here over in Lemoyne. That's all I got for you. Short and sweet. Thanks for coming in. I hope you enjoy this. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comments are always appreciated. Until next time, happy hunting, happy trails, and I'll see you then.